Hello, church. Hope you have a wonderful day in the Lord. Today we're studying out of Psalm 56, and this particular psalm appears to be associated with an event that occurred in David's life, uh, and that was the event of where he fled to Goth away from Saul. And this is where the Philistines are, and he is very afraid of them, afraid of the king of Goth, and he acts like a madman. And of course, they didn't want to have anything to do with a madman, but he eventually flees and he escapes to the cave of Adullam. Now, one of the things I want you to remember about David, that David was anointed as a young lad uh, to be king. And he was very aware of that. And it says that the spirit came upon him from that day forward. Uh, and so now David is going through different circumstances here. And, and as in chapter 56, he talks about uh, asking uh, for mercy. And he talks about his enemies, how they swallow him up and so on. And then he seems to have a change of attitude and starts telling how he trusts in the Lord and there's no fear. And then he goes right back in to talking about his enemies. And then in verse 10, it's back to praising God. And I think what David's going through, from his circumstances, he is very fearful. And he starts thinking about, well, he's going to be king one day, and the only thing that can stop him from being king is that somebody kill him. Well, that's not going to happen because God has told him that he's going to be king. He's been anointed. But he seems to sometimes uh, waver uh, back and forth on that. So, so I think that's what he's going through when he writes many of these psalms in his circumstances, and he does become king at the age of 30. Um, I kind of equate this to a time in my own life when God had promised me probably 35 years ago or so. And in the King James Version, Psalm 128, verse 6 starts out, Yeah, thou shalt see thy children's children. And that was a promise to me. Why? I don't know. I didn't know why God had said that to me, but it been a pro was a promise to me for many years that I would see my children's children. Well, that's my grandchildren. And at that time, Ruth and I, are little, we had little boys that time, so it wasn't in the near future, but I can remember going over that verse and just not knowing what God had planned that for until 2001, and I uh, be became ill and kept having episodes to... Uh, where I had much pain and had two exploratory surgeries. And finally, uh, after about a year, they found out that I had a terminal disease. So the choice was to go and be operated on or uh, prepare to die. And my doc doctors locally actually told me that they would not go to this doctor in Washington, D.C., a very radical type doctor. He was probably the most renowned doctor in the area on this particular disease. Well, that didn't confuse me. I went on. I had the surgery and I only had a few weeks to live. But I can remember during that time wavering, going back and forth and treading. Then I think, well, God gave me that promise. I don't have any grandkids. So I plan on seeing them. Well, I've seen them. I've seen seven of them and one was stillborn, but I saw him too. God is good. And may you be blessed today. And may you find encouragement and hope and happiness and joy in his word. God bless you.